I'm inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, built on the spot where Christian tradition says Jesus was entombed and rose again. And today they're celebrating something this church has long been resistant to, change. In a formal procession, Christian leaders marched into the Church of the Holy Sepulchre as the peal of bells could be heard throughout Jerusalem's old city. The faithful say Jesus' tomb was opened by God's command. Today, it opened again, following a renovation that was hundreds of years in the making. The tomb has been closed to the public for nine months for the renovations. This is a great day, a very exciting day. Uh, first of all, to see the archaeology, uh, what's actually contained in the edicule, uh, to see some of the original bedrock where Jesus would have uh, been laid after his death. We've been following the renovations here since they began. They are exceptionally rare. After you're looking exactly the same, of course, without any deformation, any cracks, uh, any damage. So no? It'll be more you solid inside, it, uh, 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 but it'll look the same. Yes, yes, exactly. The little house over Christ's tomb called the Edicule was falling down, damaged by water, fire, and earthquakes. Now it's been reinforced with metal screws, rotten stone and mold cleared away. It's long overdue. The tomb hadn't been properly renovated for about 200 years because the various Christian denominations which compete for control of the holy sites here could never agree on who would do the work. In the end, a Greek firm that worked on the Acropolis in Athens was chosen. And during the renovations, something even more extraordinary took place. Jesus' tomb was opened. The slab of marble on the top of what's believed to be Jesus' tomb has just been removed, and archaeologists are now analyzing what's underneath it. For 60 precious hours, scientists and a crew from National Geographic had a look inside. The holy bed from which the faithful believed Jesus rose from the dead had never been filmed before. Now the lid is back on. The edicule, restorers say, is no longer in danger of collapse, and the tomb at the center of Christian worship is once again open to all. Christian leaders here say this renovation is a sign of unity, and they hope they can continue this spirit of coming together for the sake of the faith and so they can carry out more much-needed renovations here. Back to you. It's an amazing story. It really is. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.